All right, here's the beginning of a new project. It's another, uh, I think it's a 40 gallon. I'll do the measurements and then I'll put them up uh, from offer up and it cost me $30 and it's actually a reptile tank. So out here in the Coachella Valley, a lot of people seem to keep reptiles. And one of the things that says reptile tank is this edge. It's different, All right? It's kind of like, a, oh, and there's something broken here, this, uh, which is not a big deal. Um, and there's notches back here, a couple of them. And there was a screen lid with a hatch door on it. And there's still, yeah, it looks like decomposed granite or some, I don't know, back there in the corner. Um, the guy said he kept a, a, a bearded dragon in it, so reptile. Um, but I'm going to turn it into a fish tank. So I'm going to hose it out, clean it up. And the silicone doesn't look great. So, and I don't know, we can see how rough it is along the edge here. I'm on the outside, but that's on the inside. So in here, and it's bad in a couple spots around the bottom. So I'm gonna clean it up and I'm probably gonna clean out the, the, the silicone and re it. And I have this silicone that I will introduce you to. It is something that I was, I used to watch this guy from Turkey build these custom tanks and he's amazing. He's on YouTube, you could go find him. Probably just search uh, custom tanks and you can come across this guy um, or aquarium building or something like that. Uh, and they're all glass tanks and they are spectacular. And uh, he uses this silicone that I'm gonna be using that I've used before. And it's right on, on it. I get it on Amazon, right on it, it says fish safe. And a lot of people, I think, are under the misnomer that GE is fish safe. And it says, if you read the MSDS, which is Material Safety Data Sheets, uh, I believe it says something about not to be used with fish. So anyway, I know a lot of people use it. So I gave it a quick cursory rinse, and I'm gonna fill it up. Got it propped up on a couple two by twos and uh, I'm gonna fill it up and hopefully it doesn't explode or the sides blow off or something like that. Um, and I'm gonna let it sit overnight at least. The pavement will dry up really quick out here and we'll see if, uh, um, see if it holds water. And I'll probably still go ahead and, and reseal it regardless, just cause. But it seems like a nice tank. It seems like it's been shaped. The glass seems to be the same thickness as a typical 40 breeder. So that should be all right. We'll see. We'll see, it'd be a nice project. I'm just trying to decide too whether I'm gonna split it in half um, this way, front to back, and make two halves. And and one of the thoughts was to put uh, Blue Dream Shrimp on one side and Orange Sunkist on the other, just bare bottom tank with, uh, and, and make them shrimp tanks. And this is why we leak test. Now, like I said, this was a reptile tank. That might have had something to do with it, but I don't think so. I'm thinking maybe uh, I'd set it on these two two by twos and maybe it torqued and, and the bottom shattered out overnight sometime. And there's chunks of glass all the way back under the truck. It just washed away all the way back under the truck. So, so much for this tank. I guess I could try and, you know, cut the bottom out and put a new piece of glass in, give that a shot. I don't know if it's worth it. I will think about that for the next couple of days. But there's glass in the planter there. All right. Pieces, right? And yeah, there's a little, little tiny, yeah, you can see the little shine. I think if I, yeah, turned around, I could see some from here, but come around. And you, so I'm gonna, I've got some cleanup to do. <laughs> That'll keep me busy. For a while. Yeah, so see, there's just little tiny pieces. I gotta pick all that stuff up because we like to play in the dirt here. Don't wanna get cut. So after consideration, I decided it would be cheaper, safer, a lot easier just to toss this tank in the trash with the bottom out 
and let it go at that because I don't feel like messing with it. So I laid the trash can on its side, slid it in, and uh, stood the trash can back up. And hopefully the trash guys will take it with it sticking out like that because I don't want to bust it up anymore. It's not particularly a safe project. And also while you're at it, I've got these new, I like big fish and I cannot lie, uh, t-shirts on uh, on my store and uh, I'll put a link down in the description and this one's got an Oscar on it and I've got a couple more coming with more big fish um, let me get my fingers out of the way and follow the link to my store and they come in uh, I've got black and white so black with white text black shirts with white text white shirts with black text and uh, this big beautiful Oscar fish in the middle of it the tiger Oscar so anyway yeah follow the link uh, and maybe I'll put a discount code up for you guys alrighty oh, that's what I was gonna say they come in five size five size eight sizes from small all the way up to 5xl uh, I'm wearing a 4xl because I like my shirts a little on the baggy side plus I've got some weight I gotta lose so anyway I'm not I know I'm not the only one in that boat uh, but anyway, take a look if you would. I'd really appreciate it. That'll help the channel grow. Thanks. Enjoy the day. And don't forget to leak test your tanks outside before you bring them in. And what I should always say is thanks for watching.